coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Airbus helicopter flies on 100% sustainable fuel. Mothballed Evergreen 747 goes on the block. Federal Air Marshal Union sues Uncle Sam. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Airbus helicopter flies on 100% sustainable fuel. An Airbus H-225 has performed the world's first helicopter flight powered by 100% sustainable aviation fuel. The flight, which saw both the H-225 Safran Macula 2 engines powered by SAF, follows a November 2021 undertaking in which an H-225 flew with one of its Macula 2 engines operating on SAF and the other on conventional jet fuel. The flights are part of an ongoing campaign to understand the impact of SAF use on aircraft gas turbine systems. Testing is expected to continue on various helicopter types with different fuel and engine architectures with the aim of certifying the use of 100% SAF by 2030. While SAF production currently accounts for only 0.1% of total aviation fuel production, this figure is expected to increase dramatically in the coming years to meet both growing demand from operators and upcoming governmental SAF mandates. In June 2021, Airbus Helicopters launched the SAF User Group with the intention of bringing aerospace stakeholders together to work on means by which to accelerate the use of blended SAF kerosene and define a pathway toward 100% SAF flight operations. And after the break, NASA to examine proposals for lunar fission reactor. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. NASA to examine proposals for a lunar fission reactor. NASA and the U.S. Department of Energy have selected three design concept proposals for a fission reactor system that would power human lunar endeavors under the Project Artemis umbrella. The contracts fund the development of initial design concepts for a 40 kilowatt class fission power system that can be transported to the moon by X-10 or near future space vehicles, then operate in the lunar environment for at least 10 years relatively small and lightweight compared to electrical, fossil fuel, or kinetic power systems. Pilot unhurt in Hawker Hunter incident. A 63-year-old single-seat Hawker Hunter MK-58 has gone down off of North Carolina's Atlantic coast. The aircraft operated by Airborne Tactical Advantage Company was supporting U.S. Navy training exercises in the capacity of a mock aggressor. The U.S. Navy subsequently confirmed that the downed Hawker's pilot was able to eject before the aircraft hit the water, and that the aircraft had been supporting the George H.W. Bush Carrier Strike Group's Computex. Air Nostrum Group to acquire HAV Airlander airships Hybrid Air Vehicles Limited, the British manufacturer of hybrid airships, announced it has received its first commercial order from an airline group. The deal will see Air Nostrum Group take delivery of 10 of HAV's Airlander airships. The Airlander is a hybrid airship comprising a primary helium vessel fitted out with auxiliary wing and tail surfaces. The craft develops lift by both aerostatic and aerodynamic means. In-flight thrust is provided by four diesel engine-driven ducted propellers. Airlander's progenitor, the HAV-304's 2012 maiden flight, took place, somewhat ironically, at Lakehurst, New Jersey. Honda and Flight Safety Extend Honda Jet Training Agreement 
Honda Aircraft Company has dramatically extended its partnership with Flight Safety International. The two companies announced a unique 25-year agreement that will see Flight Safety provide ground school and simulator training to Honda Jet pilots through 2047. The deal sets a strong long-term commitment to aviation while building on an existing 15-year relationship that, to date, has trained and certified more than 600 HA420 pilots. And that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Mothballed Evergreen 747 goes on the block. McMinnville, Oregon, famed UFO hotspot and Spruce Goose Roost will host a unique foreclosure auction. The property in question is neither a house, nor an automobile, nor even a collection of Richard Nixon campaign buttons. Rather, it's a derelict Boeing 747 that's been parked in front of the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum for eight years. McMinnville Properties, an outfit controlled by wine entrepreneur Bill Stoller, who also owns the museum, seeks to acquire the airplane. The company filed suit last October against the 747's owner, a Kansas City aircraft parts and leasing operation called Jet Midwest, which bought the aircraft in 2014 after Evergreen International Aviation filed bankruptcy. The 747 and the museum are legacies of the defunct carrier and its colorful founder, Del Smith. Evergreen, which in its heyday operated passenger, cargo, and governmental support operations in 168 countries, was formerly a major employer in the McMinnville area. The museum founded by Smith is best known as the adopted home of the Spruce Goose. The suit brought by McMinnville Properties against Jet Midwest and two additional companies seeks immediate payment of more than $587,000 in storage fees, interest, and other charges levied against the neglected 747. The court-ordered foreclosure sale affords McMinnville Properties opportunity to gain ownership of the jet. After these messages, Federal Air Marshal Union sues Uncle Sam. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Federal Air Marshal Union sues Uncle Sam. The Federal Air Marshal Service's motto, Invisus in auditus impavidus, unseen, unheard, unafraid, is proving uncannily apposite. The head of the Federal Air Marshal Service's Philadelphia office is reportedly tampering with performance reviews, pressuring workers to put off necessary medical care, and opening fraudulent investigations in an illegal attempt to harass and suppress his unionized workforce, so alleges the Air Marshal Association, a labor union representing federal air marshals. A June 8th complaint filed by the AMA describes instances in which supervisory air marshal in charge Richard Altamare, the TSA, and DHS conspired to harass unionized employees and deny them their right to free speech. Mr. Altamare, the complaint alleges, undertook a, quote, despicable and targeted, end quote, pattern of harassment and intimidation of unionized employees immediately after his 2021 appointment to lead the Philadelphia field office. In October 2021, the complaint continues, Altamare implemented a policy of pressuring air marshals, including one seeking cancer treatment, to forego using sick leave or other forms of paid time off for medical appointments. Altamare also altered employee performance evaluations for purpose of eliminating or reducing raises, bonuses, or promotions. Air Marshal Association President John Cassaretti added, quote, The Philadelphia field office is in crisis, and workers there have endured a series of failing managers who are devoid of experience and leadership skills, end quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.